Hello everyone. I just wanted to make a quick video showing how to remove the hard drive on an Acer all-in-one PC and install a solid-state drive. Now first what you want to do is, ideally you want to remove the bottom of the stand by taking a little screw under the pad off. However, if it's kind of hanging as it is here for me, you can actually just leave it on. Now just to show, there are four screws under each little rubber grommet on each side of the stand. So, you probably see them in there. I'm going to remove those. We'll go from there. So now you can see I removed the four little screws from below the stand. They are slightly larger than regular little laptop screws. The stand comes out and there is another screw right here. So let's remove that. Once this screw is out, essentially all you do is peel the top back and pull it up. The easiest way I found it is to kind of put both fingers in on each side and pull it up ev evenly kind of on each side as it's you know obviously you don't want to crack it so it's not the easiest thing to do while holding the camera here let's see if I can do it but it really just kind of comes right up Put your thing around the edge. One edge. Get the other edge. Just kind of a standard laptop style clip where you basically just put your finger down the crack and pull back lightly. And the plastic here is pretty strong, so really, there we go. And that's it, literally. Here is the hard drive. Just a couple screws to remove that, I'll show as it comes out. But overall, this is actually a very easy computer to take apart. Don't be afraid to upgrade it with a solid straight drive, as essentially, if you're getting it with a regular hard drive, it's, you know, it's just, it is so much worse. You, you almost have to upgrade it to make it good. Technically, computers without solid state drives shouldn't even be sold these days. I haven't had a computer for, I think, 10 years now with a regular hard drive. So. The fact that this still comes with a 5,400 RPM hard drive is just, it's insane. Just get these two screws out right here. That's all. At this point, it slides right out. Here's the hard drive. Now, obviously, just remove the rest of the screws, put in the solid straight drive in the same place, slide it back in, and you're good to go.